Yeah, you saw in the passing game. You saw, Greg, the average third down, third and 11. Here's Robinson, and it's complete for a first down. Their first third down conversion. He met her, Bay Bay, who had the touchdown. Second and four. Peters again to the air. That's a catch right near the first down marker for Renato Bebe. Still fighting for yardage, and he'll get progress just shy of the 40. Left and did not return. Robinson, Imato Bebe on the sideline, nine yard gain. Williams caught Imato Bebe, and that's going to be right on the line. I think he's got enough fighting a line on with the football. Here's Peters looking. He's got a man open. Matter Bebe breaks a tackle and brought down. And now throwing the ball in his lap, and he puts it in the lap of Daniel Amater Bebe. And a catch by Amater Bebe has him down near the 20. Four man rush again. Peters looking into coverage toward the sideline. Complete again for a first down. They're filling it with the middle. That's good, good defense right there. Second and three. Peters to the air. The catch made by. Joshi Mantor Bebe at the 46 of Michigan State. To a minute 58 to go in the half. Illinois with the ball on its 33 yard line. And receiver is open in the middle of the field. The first down for Imater Bebe, and he takes it into Michigan territory. The tables have turned, as Rick said. There's some juice right now, and he's a line eye. Taylor. Easy throw to Matter Bebe. So Purdue still trying to bracket him in coverage, but there was a hole there. He gets it to the 35 yard line. Second and 15. Remember, we had the penalty before the timeout as Peters able to sling it out to a Matter Bebe, his third catch of the evening. We get a chance to show the photo. He is on, he's on the right. Don't match up very well up front. Have been a lot of seven step drops here. Now Here's my action. Here we go. And Peters to the sideline. And Matro Bebe with a catch and out of bounds at the 39. Hankins out there on the coverage. Pick up a 14. He's got a great motor. Watch it. Third down. Robinson quick toss. Sliding catch first down. He Matro Bebe. The left just a little bit to open up that gap. Fake to love. Out in space. He Matro Bebe. Tough man to bring down, but Iowa does it. To the outside they go. And that's the matter, baby. Breaking the tackle. Brought down by Colin Miller. Flip the field for the Illini. They have a second down play and a pass and a catch. And it's Josh Amater Bebe. And the ball comes out of the end, but he was down. Passing TDs, 48 points responsible for both top in the FB top 10 FBS. Impact players. He has the screen on first down. Second and ten. Robinson in trouble. Gets rid of the pass. It is caught. Imater Bebe got the first down of the 42. All kinds of time to throw that time. And it's Imater Bebe who brings it down, but just short. The triangle caught the ball with the triangle of his hands. First down. And they go to Imats or Bebe for the first time. First catch in his Illini career. Really, there's a lot of this offense will be back next year. That's all good stuff. Peters slings it to Imats or Bebe, who's down at the 40-yard line. That's a first down. Tim Barrow taking the legs out from under. See if they can get something going here to start the fourth quarter. Well, that'll help across the 50. The completion to Josh Amater Bebe has been very quiet here today. That was the only game a season ago that he missed. 318 pounder. Off the play fake. Going out to Amater Bebe. So again, trying to get that top target involved. And Amater Bebe's got it out. Maybe that's just the D lineman in me and my disdain for quarterbacks. But, you know. <laughs> Well, it's the former uh, kickoff coverage unit freshman football player in me to go along with the four. Auto owners impact players when Illinois has the football. Second and ten at the 36-yard line. Peters got a little help from Corbin in pass protection and a low throw caught by Amator Bebe. That's a first down at the 47-yard line. Robinson 
to the sideline. Catch made by Metro Debe, but nowhere to go as Terrell Smith was waiting at the 28-yard line. It's just a three-yard game. Ball start on Josh Emato Bebe pushes Illinois back for the second time today, the second penalty. And then a throw to the left side, and Emato Bebe catches it. Marker is down, though, comes in right at the end. Fourth string quarterback out there, remember, if you're just joining us. Emato Bebe swung down at the 26-yard line. Those two games he missed were with concussion last season. Quick throw out to his top target, Josh Amater Bebe, and a good start for Illinois. Understands the offense better, he knows where to go with the football. From the 25 yard line, he goes to that young man, Josh Amato Bebe. Second and 11, play action. Pressure coming late. Imator Bebe with the catch at the Minnesota 49. Really impressed with this Illinois offense, especially their performance up front today. They're looking for Imator Bebe. And he comes down with it inside the five. Quentin Newsom going to be on the coverage here. Nice touch. And again, that placement on the back shoulder throw, just absolutely perfect from Brandon Peters. You can see Imator Bebe. If he looks in that direction, that's where he's going. Eman Orbebe, the receiver, jump ball. He's got it inside the 20 yard line. Great catch of Vincent Gray all over him. By a matter Bebe winning in press coverage and going up vertical and making a play on the football. See the safety in the open. So disruptive at the linebacker position. The best tackler in the Big Ten. That pass was tipped and a good reaction that time from their big receiver, Josh Imatorbebe, to bring it down. And this is going to be an issue, right? Because he only stands 5'10". He's able to get a hand up on the ball. Oh, it was a defensive back that got it on. It looked like Mo Melton got it. Max Melton got, out, got his hand on the ball here before Imatorbebe can go up and adjust and catch it. Good job by Imatorbebe adjusting. First play of the second half for Peters. Pass connects to the USC transfer. Imad Orbebe. Part of that monster, you know, when, the, when their offensive coordinator, Rod Smith, got here in 18, a huge increase in, the, in rushing that they had that year and what they were trying to build. So we see a nice game there. A little longer pull right up on the Jack Campbell. Two tight end formation. Play action. Has a man. Imad Orbebe. His first touch of the football, and it's a big play for Illinois. Only six foot two, but get this. He's got a 46-inch vertical. There's nobody over the top. They're going to get somebody over the top of him right now. Tight man coverage. Fourth and 16. He has him. Comes. He matter baby with the ball in the air. Makes the catch. And he's down at the 20-yard line. I cannot believe Kevin. Ball's going there. He takes an inside release, and it's in the air, and he just fights for the ball. That's it. Four-man rush. Peter throws it in the traffic, and it's caught. He met her baby with a huge fourth down conversion, and the Illini keep it moving. Gets the protection. He knows where he wants to go, throws a strike in between three defenders. Man. The hands, the strength of him or Bebe. 6'2", 215, runs that curl route in between the numbers and the hash. Finishes off a big game. Gain of 25, the seventh first down of the first half for Illinois. Back to back plays, he matter, baby! Did he stay in? No! At first blush, I thought he had a foot in. Maybe he so bobbled too. the football. I thought so too, but I think his toe did. Brandon Peters sort of checking the, the jumbotron there. Everybody else at home, you decide whether that foot gets in bounds or not. Ooh, I think that was in. Oh, he clearly had control of the football. That's a touchdown. They wondered if he'd play. He was in a green jersey earlier in the week in practice, but he's obviously out there now as Peters tries one-on-one -on, -one on the sideline. He's got him at a baby, and it's a touchdown. One-on-one -on -one against DiCaprio Boodle. And the Illini up 13 in the first line. They're going to go with play action. There's nobody near him. He's able to set his feet, throw, and watch this throw. Matter Bebe, six quick. Illinois converted all of them. 
catch thus far. He's looking for Emmanuel oh. Bebe. Goes up top, and he makes the catch. Hey, Bebe. Touchdown, Illinois. It's going to be Boodle in coverage, and you're going to see Emmanuel Bebe drive to the inside. Another pass play. Robinson has to step up. Keeps the play alive, dumps it off inside the 10. Evander Bebe able to break a tackle and get into the end zone for the Illinois touchdown. Pretty simple concept. Just trying to go with a little bit of a mesh route and try to free release the back on the wheel. But you see as he's escaping, you're going to see the safety get influenced by this and his eyes take him to that point, which kind of frees up the middle of the field where Robinson is able to recoil, flip his shoulders, and get it to Imater Bebe on the move. That was a great job of influencing the safety in the secondary with his eyes thinking he was going to throw it to the boundary, resetting his feet. Trying to shake off sleepy second and third quarters. Peter steps up toward the sideline. It's the same man, Imater Bebe, reaching for a touchdown. And a scoring drive, Peters to Imater Bebe. Peters steps up. Imater Bebe comes back to the football. Watch the strength here. The reach tied up under two minutes. And with it, some cool temperatures. It's chilly out there. Third and two. As Peters on the roll, floats it for Imater Bebe, who's got it down the sideline. Step on to, and Imater Bebe is going to take it 83 yards for the touchdown. Looked like he was going to throw the ball to Hunter. And then Armando Bebe came across on the other side, and that was Henderson. The kid just made the tackle yep. earlier. The coverage, he got stuck in that coverage. Spike leading by nine. Second and four. Peters off play action. Pressure up the middle. Over towards the end zone, and that's what Bebe with the touchdown grab. Up the blitzer. Now watch his catch. He has it, has it, has it. He's going to catch his arm as well. And he pulls his arm through with the ball, and that's a good catch. One more look. Rashad Wild Goose, that's the arm he catches with the football. Yeah, that's a catch all the way through. Yep, they're in man. Motion out by Corbin. Peters looking down the sideline for a natural baby. He's got it, and he'll take it for the touchdown. Yeah, look at really nice job of protection. He gets hit in the end. But Young looks like he may have wanted to try to go for the ball in that, but it, yeah, he missed it right out of, uh, just off the tip of his fingers. He had a pocket to step into, pretty nice ball. And it took Illinois up to the 48, and Josh Amato, baby, a catch. Two defenders run into each other, and it's a touchdown. Brings it to 35-13. It's the most decisive pass Karan Taylor's thrown this entire game. Ends up being a hole shot, but he read it adequately, threw it accurately as soon. As he got to that third step, you can see him locked, loaded, ready to fire. With a positive feel, Peters, pocket collapsing. Peters steps up, toss it for the end zone. Matthew Bebe is there, and he makes the catch as the clock hits zero. It's a touchdown to close the half for Illinois. Just, he's looking, he sees him. He knows he has him down to the left side. Almost, the ball gets knocked out of his hands by Wilkes. He recovers, and then... Brown loses the ball, and Amato Bebe tracks it the whole way.